So are you thinking of moving to the city of Fairfax, Virginia? In this video, I'm going to show you around the city of Fairfax, Virginia. I'm going to take you through some neighborhoods and show you some homes at different price points so that way you can see what may fit within your budget. And if you stick around until the end, I will share with you the best kept secret of the city of Fairfax that you definitely do not want to miss. Are you ready? Let's get started. So as you can see, Fairfax City is about a 30 minute drive into Washington, DC. It will also take you around 30 minutes to get to the Ronald Reagan Airport. And then if you go westward, it will take you around 22 minutes to get to the Dulles International Airport. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in the city of Fairfax, Virginia, then subscribe below and tap the notification bell so you can be the first to know about the current market in the city of Fairfax, Virginia. My name is Renee Menzel with the Platinum Group Real Estate Team. I get calls every single day from people just like you who are looking to make their move to Northern Virginia and I absolutely love to help them. Whether you are looking to move in 9 or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. All of my contact information is included in the description below. I would absolutely love to help you make your move to Northern Virginia. The city of Fairfax, Virginia is situated in the heart of Northern Virginia. Residents of the city of Fairfax can enjoy a quiet suburban lifestyle while still having the benefit of being in close proximity to world-class entertainment and dining that Washington DC offers. Additionally, daily metro commuters can enjoy the best of both worlds because they're able to catch the orange line via the nearby Vienna metro station. For today's purposes, we're going to focus on the city of Fairfax, also known as Fairfax City, Downtown Fairfax, or Old Town Fairfax. It is an independent city in Virginia rather than an incorporated town within a county. It has a population of around 24,000 people. 70% of residents own their home. The median income in Fairfax City is $118,000. The median home price for a single family home is $712,000. What is interesting, however a little confusing, is that Fairfax, Virginia is a county, town, and city. But like I said before, today we are going to focus on the city of Fairfax. So as I previously mentioned, we are in the city of Fairfax, Virginia. The city is an enclave surrounded by a separate political entity, Fairfax County. The city is 14 miles west of Washington, D.C. The downtown has beautiful red brick lined streets. The majority of homeowners live in a single family detached home. However, townhomes and condos are also an option as well. In today's video, we are going to explore a single family home and a condo. So the historic and walkable downtown offers an attractive blend of boutique shops, restaurants, offices, and residential properties, all of which combine to provide the charm of a thriving small town while still being in close proximity to major urban areas such as Arlington and Washington, D.C. The price of a single family detached home ranges from $425,000 up to $1.65 million. The median home price of a single family detached home is $712,000. They range from 675 square feet up to 5,400 square feet. The median total square feet is around 2,000. The homes typically average around four bedrooms and three bathrooms and the average price per square foot is around $371.
So here I am outside this bi-level recently remodeled home. I love the brick and the black shutters. It is priced at $828,000. It has four bedrooms and three bathrooms. It has 2,430 square feet, which puts it at around $341 per square foot. And it was built in 1959 and it has beautiful landscaping in the front. So here I am outside this apartment style condo. It is priced at $599,000. It has two bedrooms and two bathrooms. It is 1,615 square feet, which puts it at $370.90 per square foot. And it was built in 2017. And there's this beautiful courtyard with lots of nice landscaping right outside the condo building. The price of condos in the city of Fairfax range from $161,000 up to $915,000. The median price of a condo is around $240,000. Townhomes range from $256,000 up to $1.1 million. The median price of a townhome is $626,000. They range from 832 square feet up to 3,400 square feet. Townhomes typically average three bedrooms and four bathrooms. The average price per square foot is around $327. All along Fairfax Boulevard, there are plenty of small shopping centers. This is just a glimpse, but I think you get the idea. You will have quick access to many options for dining, retail, and grocery stores, as well as professional and personal services. So here I am outside a shopping market in the city of Fairfax. There's a ranch market, a Rita's Italian Ice, the Bebop is right over there. And all along Fairfax Boulevard, there are a lot of little shopping complexes where you can find everything that you would need. So here I am at Bebop. It is a Mexican and Korean fusion restaurant. The food is delicious and it's very filling and I was eating a fusion bowl. So right now I'm sitting outside of the library in the city of Fairfax and the library is right across the street from a park. So if you have little kids, this would be a great location to take them, say during the summertime or during spring break. You can go read in the library and cool off and then go across the street and hang out at the park and like go back and forth as many times as you want to. It's definitely a great way to keep the kids entertained. So here's a Google image, and as you can see, the library is right across the street from a park, which, like I said before, will make for a great day if you want to toggle back and forth with the kids, and it'll keep them entertained for a very long time. Are you a numbers person? Does the data matter to you? Well, here are some of the stats about the city of Fairfax. 
The cost of living is 39% higher than the U.S. average. However, keep in mind that the median household income is $118,000, which is significantly higher than the national median income of $69,000. According to Niche.com, it is rated the number 10 suburb for young professionals in Virginia. 31% of residents have a master's degree or higher, which is higher than the national average of 13%. Additionally, 30% of residents have a bachelor's degree or higher, which is higher than the national average of 21%. So I'm back in my home office. It was getting too windy. Okay, so why would someone want to move to the city of Fairfax? The first reason is that it is in a great location for those who want a quiet suburban lifestyle while still being in close proximity to Washington, D.C. and federal agencies in Arlington, Virginia. The second reason is that there is a lot of great opportunities for work nearby the city and also within the city. Zeta Associates, which is a wholly owned subsidiary of Lockheed Martin and Inova Health System, are some of the city's top employers. The third reason is that there's plenty to do around the city of Fairfax. The first one that comes to mind is the charming downtown. Residents can enjoy shopping and supporting locally owned businesses. These businesses include Declare Coffee, which is one of my favorite coffee shops in town. There's also Sisters Thai, which is a beautiful and yummy Thai restaurant. And then there's Hammock's Restaurant. It is a small family-owned restaurant. They serve creative American cuisine. They have a nice covered porch that you can sit on during the more temperate months. The fourth reason why someone would want to move to the city of Fairfax is because of all the fun festivals the city hosts throughout the year. Some of these festivals include a chocolate festival in February. Then there's Rock the Block, which is held every fourth Friday from May through October. Rock the Block consists of live music, food vendors, and a beer garden. Additionally, there's Fairfax Uncorked Jazz and Wine Festival that is held in May. The fifth reason is that the City of Fairfax Regional Library is a great place to go if you have young children. The library offers story hours, story yoga, and musical activities for young children. Also, the library has a super cool coding program for elementary age students. So let's recap. Why would someone want to move to the City of Fairfax? Number one, the city of Fairfax has a charming and historic downtown with plenty of restaurants, shopping, and other activities. Number two, the city of Fairfax offers residents a quiet and suburban lifestyle while still being in close proximity to Washington, D.C. Number three, it is in the center of Northern Virginia. It is about equidistant to Ronald Reagan Airport in Arlington and Dulles International Airport. Number four, the city offers unique festivals throughout the year. And number five, the Vienna Metro Station is one mile north of the city and will take you right into D.C. via the Orange Line. Okay, well with that, thank you so much for watching my City of Fairfax vlog. And if you or anyone else is thinking of moving to the City of Fairfax or anywhere else within the Northern Virginia region, make sure to give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. I would absolutely love to help you make your move to Northern Virginia. I hope to see you around town. Take care. Bye.